Hey everybody, I'm Andy. Welcome back to We Love to Camp. This is going to be a short episode, but an important episode. It has to do with these. You love them because it makes it easy to get in. But you hear stories online about people being afraid they can get trapped inside because a bad man comes up and does that while you're inside. No way to get out. I'm going to see if I can't bust that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go in through the front door, and go back to this bathroom, and try to open the door. Let's see what happens. I hear about this all the time online, people complaining about this. And I recently heard somebody mentioning it while we were camping last week. So I decided, let's put an end to this, find out what happens. There we go. That one took a real good shove. Okay. The one up front, it seems a little bit different. It's different manufacturer, so on and so forth. So let's go check that one out. I guess I still need this one open. Let's see what happens. I've always kind of wondered what kind of campgrounds people are staying at, where they have to worry about this, but you know what? People live in their campers, they live in bad areas. So this could be a legit fear. Let's see what happens here. That one was a whole lot easier. If you want to test yours out and you only have one door, you can either lock yourself in and have somebody out here to let, let you out if you get stuck, or just put it like this and see how easily it opens. Now, I'm not 100% certain here, but if you look right here, I'm willing to bet that if you were to trim that, it would make it so much easier to open. The top one, the top one right here, you can see it's cut different than the bottom one. So if you were to take a hacksaw, a sawzall, a grinder, whatever, and trim this down here and just cut that part off, I am certain it would work out. Now, if you don't have these, I do recommend them because it does make getting up and down a whole lot easier and they're cheap. They do have the ones that come clear down here like this, like a normal handrail. Those are expensive. Uh, if you need it, you need it. If you got the money, then hey, great. These are cost effective and they work. Now, something else that you may see from time to time, the foam right here, this foam will end up getting chipped and torn and You'll get the kids sitting there and picking at it. Other than beating the kids, there is another option. I don't have the link right now. I'll see if I can't dig up the receipt from when we bought this. I'm pretty sure it was on Amazon. El Presidente bought it. What it is, it's a hard plastic with rubber nubs. You stick it on here, it kind of snaps together, and then you put a zip tie on that's provided. And it's not just a regular zip tie that pokes you and makes you bleed. It's a smooth transition zip tie. See right there, you cut it flush, and you have to try to cut yourself on that. It's not too shabby. She's not crazy about it, she prefers the foam, but this will last for years, and the foam will last for a couple seasons. That's it, like I said, a quick one, but important. So if I don't see you in the comments, we'll see you in the campgrounds. You guys take it easy.